Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. It is Sunday and we are here to chit a chat. How are you all doing? I hope you all had an amazing week and you're having a great weekend. It's a very warm here today in New York City and I am just loving the weather. Like I'm a little excited, like just excited to be able to go outside and sit and chill a little. Also, it's is a time of the year when you want your skin to look good. You want to keep up with this kind of a weather. And you also want to make sure your under eyes is looking amazing. Free from dark under eye circles, free from wrinkles and fine lines, and just basically looking fresh. So we're going to share some tips today. We are going to tell you um, a few remedies that you can use to get rid of dark on the eye circles, eye bags, puffy eyes, and also wrinkles, and even the crow's feet. Now remember, it is Sunday Chit Chat, and on Sunday Chit Chat, we do such things. So if you have a question for us, it's okay. Go ahead and ask the question. We are going to answer the question, even if you have nothing to do with the topic, once it is about skincare. If you are a member, who well, are welcome to you. We see Claudia is here pretty early. We also have, who else is here early? I don't see Jill today. So we have Claudia, um, a member commenting. Hilda, hi Hilda, how are you doing? Aminia, welcome to the live chat. Now, if you are just joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome. What I would like to ask you all just to start with is where are you watching from? I am actually broadcasting out of Brooklyn, New York, and it would be nice to know where you guys watch us from. Hello, Vera, welcome to the live chat. TT, welcome to the live chat. Um, guess who is here? Cecilia. Hey, Cecilia, missing you. Azel is here also. Um, I have what they call a major um, uh, malar festoon under my eyes. What the best way to tighten the skin? And we're going to talk about that festoon. Yes, that is it. Shirley is watching from Maryland. Ace is watching from UK. Um, Margaret. Hi, Margaret. We missed you on the Zoom yesterday. Um, uh, yesterday, but Friday night, you have been a mess. And um, Rhonda Thomas is watching from North Carolina. Vera is watching from Los Angeles, meaning it's about one something there, pretty early in the day. Uh, Mira, Mira has now become a regular on our live. Welcome back. And I made the rice and basil mask. I love it. So how many of you have tried that rice and basil mask? We post it. Um, is it this morning or before? I think we have one very similar. I think we posted this morning or before. However, guys, if you do not have basil for that, you can use some like tarragon or even some fresh parsley leaves. But I'm telling you, that rice and basil mask is a must try. And for those of you who do not watch the video, definitely check it out. Patricia watching from Ireland, Northern Ireland. That means, Patricia, are you seeing the... Um, Northern lights, that's something that I really, 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 really want to experience. So let me hear from you, Patricia, if you have seen it, uh, experience it, if you're living there a long time, or you know, just tell me a little bit. Hi, Nari Scott, welcome to the live. Rosemary is watching from Malta. Malta is a tourist destination. Now, we also have, um, who else is here? Maureen Clark from Barbados. Hi, Maureen. Peace, peace is here, Keisha watching from Jamaica. Let me see what, and Amina is from St. Martin. Brenda Wharton, thank you for your comment. And who else is wanna, um, let's see who else is here. If you're new to our live chat, go ahead and let us know that you are new so that we can give you your shout out. We know we have a couple, not a couple, we have a good bit amount of new subscribers this week. So. We all want you to be a part of the live show. So comment, comment, comment. So we can definitely give you that a shout out. So dark on the eye circle is our topic today, our main focus. However, dark on the eye circle, puffy eyes, eye bags, crow's feet, anything to do with the eyes. However, if you have a question, as I said earlier, that you want to ask, go ahead and ask. What can I use instead of vitamin A oil? Okay, so vitamin a oil is really 
soy oil. Well, most vitamin A oil that you're going to find in tablets farm are going to have some form of a soy oil. However, you have other oils that is rich in vitamin A. So get your box, sell a small bottle of soybean oil. It's not very expensive. As a matter of fact, it's probably one of the cheaper oil that you can find. And you don't have to get a big old bottle if you don't cook with it. A small bottle will do and use that for your vitamin A oil. I know that a lot of times it's very difficult to find the vitamin A oil out there. However, I normally find them in capsule form. So definitely try that soy oil because as I, you know, most of my subscribers might know that my vitamin A oil in capsule form, I was very amazed to know that it is all soy oil. So definitely use that soy oil. And remember, when you're using vitamin A oil on your skin, do not use it directly on the skin because this is very, very strong. You need to definitely mix it with a carrier oil. So mix it with some um, coconut oil or mix it with some um, sweet almond oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, you name it. Any of those oil definitely mix it um, Definitely mix it with those carrier oil. One teaspoon to two to three drops of the vitamin E oil. Now, if you are just joining, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Hi, Marla. Welcome to our live. Give us a thumbs up. That's all we ask you to do. And today, um, what count are you want, do you want to give us? Um, hi, Magdalene. Welcome to the live. What count do you want to give us, um, Claudia? Let's see if we could get this up to at least 200 thumbs up today. We have um, someone watching from Nigeria, that's um, Raphael. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'm just thinking R-A-P, Raphael. Uh, I'm gonna pronounce it Raphael. Welcome to the live. And we have someone watching from Wales. And <laughs> whenever I have someone on from Wales, I'm always like, I just so want to go to Wales. And that is the truth. Really, really want to go to Wales. And it's X Craig. X Craigie 85 X. Now, dark on the eye circles. Let me get on to the topic. And I'm definitely, if you're new to Sunday Chit Chat, we tend to shout out our subscribers because Sunday Chit Chat is really designed to chit chat with my subscribers. This is a time you get a chance to ask me questions. This is a time you get a chance to interact with me. So, in spite of the fact that we have a topic there, which sometimes we talk about it. The most important thing is to ask me as many questions as you wish about your skincare routine or something that you want to try on your skin or even about one of my videos. So definitely that is what Sunday Chit Chat is all about. While of course we talk about the topic. So we have two people watching from St. Martin. Malba is also watching from St. Martin. What side are you watching from? Say, um, in St. Martin. Let me hear. Hi Pauline, how are you? Welcome to the live. Welcome, welcome. And we are going to try to get this up to 200 um, thumbs up today. Cheryl Hamilton is watching from Jamaica, I think. Um, Cause there goes the Jamaican flag. So how many of you struggle with dark on the eye circles? Let me hear that from you today. Now tell me, French side. Okay, thank you for that. Um, if you have dark on the eye circles, comment. If you have not yet started to see dark on the eye circles, comment. If you have eye bags, comment. If you find that from time to time you have puffy under eyes, comment, comment, comment. If you find that you have wrinkles under the eyes, comment, comment, comment. Now let me talk really quick about wrinkles under the eyes. If you wear makeup, sometimes depending on how you apply your makeup, you might notice there are some crease that is not necessarily that you have wrinkles under the eyes. That could be like the powder just fall in the crease. However, if you find that on a normal, you do your eyes like this and you can definitely see those wrinkles under the eyes. It means that you have wrinkles under the eyes. So we wanna hear from you. If you have dark circles, comment, let us know. If you have under eye wrinkles, if you have eye bags, and if you have puffy eyes. The reason why we're asking because I need to know what to talk more about. We're gonna share some remedies with you, but we're also gonna share some tips and how to take care of your under eyes. So we have Vera with dark circles. We also have um, um, Marcia with dark circles, that Marcia Sam. Cynthia, men have um, puffy under eyes. As a matter of fact, are you new, Cynthia? I 
can remember seeing you on the live show before. If you're new, a warm welcome to you. Um, um, Amelda, I have iBags, and we also have um, Naino, Naino with dark uh, circles. Um, Marcia, dark circles, bags, and wrinkles. So Marcia have all three eye bags dark circles and wrinkles so what we're gonna do for you today we are gonna start off by telling you exactly how to take care of your under eyes and that is a very 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 important now if you're new to my channel and i know we have a wide variety of new subscribers so we are gonna quickly go through the process of getting rid of the dark under eye circles don't know what had just happened just now my thing kind of shift and I'm trying to get back my comments and I, I'm not seeing my comments so let put back myself on had myself to the screen all right there right there it is there it is okay i don't know what i touch all right guys so if you're just joining we're talking about dark on the eye circles we're talking about eye bags we're talking about wrinkles under the eyes before we share the remedies we need you to know how to take care of your under eyes especially my new subscribers and for all of you who subscribe to my channel this week i think i got about five six hundred new subscribers this week Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. We're on our way to 2 million. We want to eat it before the year is done. So if you have a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. And we're definitely going to be bringing you some new content. We're going to dive into some new content. So guys, when I post the new content, watch them and don't complain that, oh my goodness, no, let's, let's just deal with the, the, the skincare, okay? We're going to mix some things in. So first thing you need to know is that you need to wash your eyes wash under your eyes and above your eyes all the way up here and all the way under here and some of you are going to be like oh no i do that every day no you don't most of the time you don't and how do i know that you don't because i am myself is guilty if i'm washing my face i'm you know using my cleanser and i'm cleansing my face okay most time we cleanse our face and guess where we're not touching we're not touching this area why are we not touching this area because in order for us to touch that area we cannot do it like this we got to actually go in this area and clean that area however the areas around your eyes are the most delicate area on the face you can scrub you can do all kind of things to the rest of the face but when it comes under your eyes you got to be a very 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 careful and that is the reason why some of us do not wash or take care of our under eyes, especially, especially when we find that we're not into skincare like that. All right, so how do we take care of our under eyes? I normally encourage people to get a wash rod. And the reason for that is because it's, you know, it's gentle on the skin. So you're going to take your wash rod after you finish cleansing your face. And if you wear makeup like I do, get yourself some coconut oil or get yourself, as a matter of fact, any oil can do. I find coconut oil work very, very well. And you're going to make sure you clean off your makeup properly. Do not go to sleep. There goes my doorbell. Do not go to sleep with makeup on your skin. It is not good for your skin. Okay, it is not good to leave your makeup on your skin. It could clog the pores and you do not want that to happen. So you want to wash your face every single night when you wear makeup. And I know a lot of people like to fall asleep in their makeup. It's not a good thing to do. So with that said, definitely cleanse your face at night, preferably both twice per week. I'm watching my, my door. Sorry, guys. Let me focus. Right here, not the door. Definitely cleanse your face twice per day and definitely cleanse your under eyes at least once per day. Why do I say once per day uh, for the under eyes? Because if you spend three minutes to cleanse your under eyes or your eye area at night, in the morning, you could just go ahead and just wash your face like that. And, you know, you still do a little thing you're going to wear your nighttime 
um, on the eye cream. So you're going to take a squash rod, no soap. We do not recommend you use any form of a soap under your eye. Ava is watching from Germany. Hi, Ava. No form of soap under your eyes because the soap could get in your eyes. Somewhat, a couple of months ago, I suggest if you have to use any form of a soap, it would have to be like um, some baby um, shower gel or something like that, the one that's for babies. However, for me, not it. So you take that wash rod and you go in windshield wiper and it's only gonna take a minute or two. And you just clean under your eyes with that washcloth and you go the other way. If you have to use some form of a soap, a little bit of your mild, mild, mild cleanser. And you do the same above your eyes, windshield wiper, windshield wiper both ways. And that is how you clean your under eyes. Under your eyes do have dead skin cells, just like the rest of your face. It's just that under that area is softer, okay? It's more, you know, delicate. So you do not want to be using like body facial scrub and all of that under your eyes. So you get that soft wash rod and some wash rod can be very hard, okay? So make sure the one that you get is pretty, pretty soft and you just clean that under eyes up and down and then you rinse your face or just rinse off like you normally do. Now, why are we talking about that? Because some of you that have wrinkles under your eyes, it's not necessarily that you have those wrinkles, it's dead skin cells, okay? And because you don't clean under the eyes, the dead skin cells is there and it makes it seem dry and flaky, so you need to clean. And if you start to clean under your eyes, as I suggest, you're gonna be like pleasantly surprised of the difference with your under eyes. And how many of you that are watching right now that have been following that method by using a wash rug or focusing on cleaning your under eyes on a daily and have been seeing results? If you have tried the washcloth method or wash rug, comment, 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 and let me hear from you. Agnes is watching from Dubai, and um, we have um, Juliana is watching from Tanzania. We have a Juliana on our channel and I have not seen Juliana on for a while. Probably need to figure out, check in on Juliana. Sharon Robinson, good evening. I have eye bags and dark circle under the eyes. So if you're just joining, we just share with you exactly how to clean your under eyes. And if you're watching and you know of a mild soap or something very, very mild that you can use to clean the under eyes, comment share it with us i personally suggest just water if you use makeup you just use that petroleum jelly are a good makeup remover they have a wide variety out there on the market right now that you can you know use to clean your under eyes but never notice when i make like facial scrub or facial mask there's some that i normally tell you this one you can go as close as possible under the eyes or others i would be like do not let that one get in your eyes, and that is for a reason. Now, Claudia has been using the rock since we met, yes. And I noticed, and this is what I'm going to put right here now, and I noticed a considerable difference. Why? Because this rock is exfoliating the skin. And here is a little tip for some of you who might not use a wash rock. As a matter of fact, let me stray from the under eyes really, really quick and ask a quick question. How many of you watching? How many of you watching actually use a wash rod in the shower to wash your body? It's okay. There's a lot of people who don't. Okay, so it's okay if you say you don't. We just want to hear from you. How many of you use a wash rod? Not the sponge now, okay? Not the sponge or not those ones that you put the shower gel on and it just get frothy and all of that. Not that one. We're talking a wash rod or a washcloth. I send your leave Welcome to this show. Regardless of where you live. Some people live in countries that it's wash rod. Some people live in countries that it is known as washcloth. I know in um, Europe, well, not sure if it's all of Europe, but um, like in France, they have just the one that you push your hands in like that. Whichever way, regardless if it's a square or the one that you push your hand in like a glove, it is wash rod or washcloth. How many of you actually use that in the shower? Don't be afraid. And if you do not use it, comment and let me hear. I want to know how many use and how many don't use. Now, it's not a crime if you don't use. 
and it's not a crime if you use. I mean, a wash rag is a must for me. And um, Amira, use, I use it in the shower. Keisha use a wash rag. Um, um, Asia, um, where is it? It just went out of my view, Asia. Um, your comment. Okay. Um, yes, a white wash cloth for my face only. And let me highlight this comment really, 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 really quick. A white wash cloth for my face only. And this is something that we recommend also, especially when you are going to take your wash rod to use under your eyes. You definitely need to have a special one. So you can use two in the shower. You can, I do use two. You can use one for your face and you can use one for the body. Okay. Now she's using a white. I like the idea for white, but you can use any color you have. The reason I like the white because I can see what is on it, but you don't have to use the white. All right. But definitely get yourself a wash rod, even if it is only for your face. And that is the reason why we throw that question out there. Now, all white towels love that idea also. And, um, Khadija, I do, but it is safe to use around the sensitive part. Okay. So this is, this is a good question. And this is exactly what we are saying, Kadisha. I like that name. Um, but it, it is said to use around the sensitive part of the eyes. Yes, because you control the amount of pressure that you apply under the eyes. Now, when you are having your wash rod, you can apply gentle, and you can go a little harder depending on how you feel. So you have control. Please note that sometimes they are wash rod out there that are rough. Okay, that are rough. And there's places that you go that the water is very hard. And if you're using hard water, your wash rod might be stiff. And some people know what I'm talking about. Not everyone know what I'm talking about when it comes on to having a stiff wash rod. But some of you all know that there are places that the water is very, very, very hard. And I could do some name dropping because I've been places where <laughs> I washed my rug and the rug is stiff, okay? When I say stiff, and it, that is not because you use a lot of soap. That is because your water is very, very, very hard. There's a solution for it. If you live somewhere with hard water, you might not like it because an extra step. However, you simply have to boil it. Yeah, that wash rag, you would have to boil it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Because when you boil that water, it take out all of that, um, I'm just going to say corrosion that is in the water that is causing your wash rod to be stiff. So if you live somewhere where it's that stiff, at least, you know, once a week or twice a week, boil it in some, you know, and it's going to get soft. That's a tip for those of you who really do not know um, that you can actually do that. So to answer your question, yes, but make sure that it is very much soft. If you're just joining, we're just sharing tips and how to clean under your eyes. And why do we spend so much time talking about cleaning under your eyes today? That is because it's vital for any remedy that you're going to use under your eyes to work. If the under eyes or the above is not clean, it means the pores are clogged. Not because under your eyes is sensitive, it don't mean that there's not pores. The entire skin is covered with pores. And just as how the face could clog and you get that black and that white and that large open pores, that's the way under your eyes are also clogged. And that's why some of us see it looking wrinkles, looking crepey, and it just don't look right at all. So now, we're going to start with some tip. Vera, baking soda makes them soft. Okay, so thank you for this um, tip also. Baking soda can make the wash rod cloth um, soft. If you live somewhere and your wash cloth or wash rod is stiff or very tight when you wash, when you wash it, don't feel bashful. It's okay. It's not you. It's not that you don't know how to wash or it's not something wrong with the machine. It simply means that you have hard water. Okay, so let's move on to, I'm looking, I don't know about a stiff wash rod. That means you live somewhere where you have really, really good water. How many of you, um, is there anyone here watching from Italy, Florence, Italy? 
if you're watching from Florence, Italy, comment, comment, comment. Let me hear from you. And um, Lizzie, baby washcloth are softer. Okay, that I, this is why I like this chat. Now here's another tip for you guys. The baby washcloth are um, cloths are softer. So if you don't use a regular commercial washcloth, you can get a baby washcloth under there to use under your eyes. And um, Rose change my wash rod every three months, and that's another thing to to change that wash rod as often as you can. Now, um, Andre is using a wash rod. All right, so we are here. If you're just joining, we're actually sharing tips and how to clean under your eyes. You definitely and don't tell me yes, I just joined and I clean under my eyes all the time. It's a way that you clean under your eyes using uh i did not use it actually it is new to me and that is from juliana used to, so now you're gonna know how to clean under your eyes now let's start with some tips so the first thing we're gonna talk about the first um remedies that we're gonna share we're gonna share remedies for eye bags so those of you with eye bags start commenting let me hear and if there's anything that you're using to get rid of those eye bags would like you to comment and if you have eye bags like forever and no matter what you do the eye bags are dear please start commenting after eye bags we're gonna go to dark circles and then we're gonna touch back a little bit on getting rid of wrinkles under the eyes eye bags we want to hear from you and um emerald cream can help with bags but need natural remedies now I'm trying to think if I should venture into that. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Yes, I've heard of that, and I also know that I'm I'm putting Sandra um thing on here, and just because it seems like it's medical, because you know that is why I'm um tweaking it um um Sandra. That actually worked. Okay, <laughs> yes, yes, it's an old remedy that has been around forever. And it do it do it do it do get the job done okay all right so and, and most people might um know uh, a little about this all right so we have a rose with horrible eye bags and i've used eye rollers on aloe vera also castor oil and nothing work now you also remember that some people is getting this from the family but listen to me rose what i want you to start doing is to get in the habit of using the wash rod and you might be like oh but what does a wash rod have to do with um, eye bags it also opening those pores and we're gonna help you to shrink those eye bags so a very good remedy for shrinking those eye bags you're using aloe vera and castor oil but we're gonna take you back to using some of those rinse off remedies that we have on our channel. Some of those rinse off remedies contain stuff like parsley, they contain like potato, they contain stuff like petroleum jelly, yes I said it, and they also contain ingredients like aloe vera gel. Now how can you make a carrot? That's another um, ingredient that we use to get rid of those eye bags. In my research and my experience, eye bags, yes, you do the leave on, but I find that when you want really good results with eye bags, you have to try some of the rinse off remedies. Cucumber is another thing that we mix. And I place the playlist with most of our, I think we have about 38 videos in the playlist that I put under this video today for you to go and watch some of our rinse off remedies. These remedies, you make them, you put them in a zip locker bag, soak up your cotton pads, and you put them over your eyes, and you leave it on over your eyes for at least 30 minutes, and you just relax with it. Years ago, when you go to the spawn, they put that cucumber over your eyes. That is helping to cool your eyes, and that is also helping to get rid of the puffy eyes and also the eye bag. So I have this remedy on my channel, and it's one very good one, believe it or not, is the petroleum jelly and the parsley leaf. And you mix the two together and you put it under your eyes. That you can leave on. However, we use the parsley leaves and we mix it with what some other ingredients. Right now off the back, I don't want to tell you 
ingredients that is not particular to gather in a recipe but the link is below that you can watch all of these videos but you blend that parsley leaf mix it uh, blend it with um, rose water strain it off and you can also add some cucumber to it you strain it off when you strain that off you put it in a ziploc or bag you get some um cotton pads you soak it it have to be chill okay it have to be chill you chill it in the refrigerator and you put it over your eyes now when you make a batch of that that can last you for a week okay one batch can last you for a week now i know some of you are short on time but whenever you have the time leave it on for at least 30 minutes that is a little time for yourself also to just kind of relax okay kind of relax because you cannot walk around with that because your eyes are covered okay now sometimes i make it in square and i put it under my eyes and sometimes i just cover my entire eyes like that if you're short in time at least 15 minutes do this and this will help to shrink those eye bags. You have to do it often, at least three times per week, okay? So when you make your batch, try to get it in at least three times a week. That is gonna help. Now you have cucumber and green tea. That's two other ingredients that you can mix. Along with, I mean, I'm stressing the parsley. If you do not have the parsley, and it doesn't matter what parsley, curly leaf, flat leaf, straight leaf, it doesn't matter. If you do not have the parsley, try some cilantro or also try some basil. Fresh is always better, but if you don't have fresh, it's okay. Go ahead and use the dry ones. If you're using the dry one, I would I encourage you to brew it. Any dry leaves you're using, just give it a little brew. You know, put a little, um, don't boil, just pour hot water, let it seep in it, and you can also blend it, and then you use it. Those work really, 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 really well. Now, guys, there's another ingredient, and I have not posted a video with this, but I've been talking about this a lot of late, and it's kiwi. I know some of you live places where you cannot get that kiwi, but if you have kiwi, juice that kiwi, mix that kiwi with a little bit of aloe vera gel and put the same cotton um, pads in it, put it over your eyes. I don't use a lot of kiwi on my channel because of the very reason that a lot of you are like, oh, we don't have kiwi, we don't have kiwi. But if you live somewhere where you can get that kiwi, that is also gonna help. You soak those cotton pads in the juice, put it over your eyes, sit back and relax two to three times a week and that is gonna help with your eye bag. It also is a quick fix for puffy under eyes. Very, very quick fix for puffy under eyes. Now, when it comes down to eye bags, now we need some leave on. Leave on treatment for your under eyes. We have a wide variety of leave on treatment, but we also have some oil. Remember I was just talking about the kiwi? So we also have the kiwi oil. We have the kiwi oil and I totally forget to bring my cucumber seed oil. We also have the cucumber seed oil. What I have been doing of late, I'm mixing the two together. Now I'm not telling you to run out and get both, okay? Or if you don't have these oils, remember if you have the fresh cucumber and the fresh kiwi is just as good. Here is a tip for you if you want to get a really good cucumber um, eye remedy. Do not use the inside of the cucumber. Peel the cucumber. So that means, guys, for those of you who like to talk about, oh, you like to waste food. Uh, get that cucumber peel and just blend that peel. You get with some rose water and strain it off because you're going to get the best nutrients from the peel of the cucumber. Drop those cotton pads in it, soak it up, and use it over your eyes. So kiwi oil is a good oil. To use under your eyes and you can mix a little bit of this kiwi oil with the petroleum jelly you are totally against petroleum jelly go ahead and mix it with a little bit of a shea butter or a little bit of a coke butter yes i said it a little bit of a shea butter or a little bit of a coke butter the kiwi oil or the cucumber seed oil will help with those eye bags all right so if you don't have the kiwi oil the cucumber seed oil as i said not to worry use up the fresh kiwi and use up the fresh cucumber peel for your under eyes if you have a question comment 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 amira i freeze pot soak in rose water use it when my puffy eyes are tired and we talk a lot about rose water on this channel rose water hydrates the skin 
balance the natural pH level of the skin. A good water to use on the face. Now, we do not use a lot of lavender water on our channel. I, however, in my personal life, use a lot of lavender water. And for my OGs, you already know I lavender water was introduced to me by one of my subscribers but i also like to tip a little bit of that lavender water in some of my eye remedies i do not show it online because some people are like oh lavender water how do we get it da, 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 da. however do not go to the store like the craft store and get lavender to make lavender water if you want to try the lavender water because those are sprayed but if you go like on amazon you can find lavender leaves that are edible and we have a lot of that because yes i like to cook with lavender leaves and i talk about that before just give that nice aroma especially if you're making your salad anyway yes so you can get that and it's very very i, I try to remember to put a link for you and this is very very much um not expensive and you can brew it and make your own lavender water you can also get the same edible um rose petal and you can brew it and you can make your own rose water when you're making rose water it's pretty easy you let that rose that pot of water boil up and then you dash those rose petal in it you turn that stove off you cover it you let it set, sit overnight and the next morning you strain it off that's the best rose water you can get even better than the one that they have in the bottle because that is natural the only difference is your homemade rose water you got to use it up within one week however there's a shortcut to that where you could add a little bit of a vegetable glycerin and that is going to probably help you to keep for another week or so but definitely definitely get some rose water in your home collection of skincare products now, if you're just joining, we're sharing tips on how to get rid of dark on the eye circles, eye bags, and puffy eyes. What did you miss so far? We talk about how to clean your under eyes using your wash rod. Now we're talking about puffy eyes, and we're sharing tips on how to shrink those puffy eyes. And I know some people get it from the granny and the grandpa and all of that good stuff. But if you take, I honestly, and this is the truth, this is my belief, okay? You can agree to disagree. I think that some things that they're claiming that we get from our parents, for parents, that is not good. That is not things that we like, like severe on the eye, um, dark circles and puffy eyes and all of that. I honestly think that everything has to do with your body per, per se. And I also think that even though your granny have it and you, um, you, you might get it, if you try to figure out how to treat it, you can lessen the effect of it. And that is just my belief. And as I said, agree to disagree. My family, a lot of us <laughs> do have um, hair. And, and I also know that some don't have and some have. I know that it comes with a lot of hormones. And the reason why some have more than some is the way the body chemistry, chemical and all of that is made up and if you try to use uh, certain things to cut back or eat certain kind of a food it could lessen the effect and as I said that is just my belief so if you find that your granny have um, eye bags like severe eye bags don't just sit around and be like mm, mine come up because granny have it so I can't escape it you might not be able to escape it but you could control it so you control it by just spending five minutes of the day or three minutes of the day and just using an eye cream, an eye serum, or a, a leave-on, or all of those amazing stuff they have out there for eye bags and get rid of your eye bag. We're looking for at least 50 more likes. So if you're watching and you didn't give us a like, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. The thumbs up is right below the video. Let's get this to 200 thumbs up. Last week we get 250. It would be nice if we could get at least 250. Now we're going to move on to on the eyes, a circle, dark on the eyes. Now, if you have dark on the eyes and you have been using any of my remedies and you have seen results, comment. 
if you have dark on the eye circles and you have tried nothing to get rid of it comment and if you have dark on the eye circles and you're using something and you're seeing results that we have not talk about it on this channel go ahead and comment and share it with us and while you're doing that help us to get to 200 likes why do we talk so much about getting likes most people watch watch our show when it is over that is when we get the most views on our live show and one of the reason why we ask for the likes is because the system share the show when it's over with a wide variety of people and sometimes we do get new subscribers however if the like is very low let's say we only have 50 likes and we do our show the system really don't show the videos to new people they might share it to some of my subscribers so that is why we ask you to give us a like on the video while we're sharing some amazing tips with you to get rid of your under eyes Annette Grant welcome to the live we also have um, Regina welcome to the live um, I am giving a like because you didn't answer me <laughs> lol all right so Regina I'm just seeing you right now and I'm scrolling back to see if I could see your comment but I don't see all the comments to be honest and because I'm speaking okay so here is your comment and um, why don't more people get iPads oh I'm gonna answer you I'm gonna answer you why don't more people get iPad removal surgery and I can't speak for everyone but I think most people are scared of their eyes I am very, 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 very scared of my eyes also. And I tend to go to my ophthalmologist, um, I think twice a year. No, my eyes is kind of in good condition. That's what I was told the last time I went, which was a few weeks or so ago. But when it comes down to your eyes and to think that you're gonna do any form of an operation on your eyes, it's just freak a lot of people out. And if you're watching right now and you're scared of doing any form of a surgery on your eyes comment 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 how many of you would, would um is not scared of like getting a little injection under your eyes if you're not scared comment and if you're scared comment this is a poll we want to hear how many of you is scared of any eye surgery and how many is not let's see it, it, about 10 to 20 comments and we'll just balance it out and see i think that is the reason why most people with ipads don't go don't go and not only that it also depends on insurance yes 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 however definitely definitely if i have to go do a surgery under my eyes or anything to do with my eyes it's freaked me out and it's true so if i have every eye, eye bags i would probably go a long 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 time trying as much remedies as i can to try to shrink that eye bag before i would turn to surgery all right so let's hear the comment we have rose i'm scared pauline no way allison i am random very scared amira scared to do it scary for sir so i was right i think i am very very much right and one person have um sharina cataract surgery and it made my eyes worse and yes i am frightened so this is so to answer your question and I was speaking for myself, and that is why I throw it out there. Most people are. And Claudia, my mom had removed um, the father run was equivalent to m and under the eye. So someone went and did it. So what I would think is that it would have to be like really, really severe, like so bad for a person to to consider it well you know nowadays when you have like you know a lot of people out there that is trying to look you know some people are so into surgery those people might not be scared now Claudia is not scared thumbs up Claudia Lana I would rather use natural remedy than eye surgery and I think your question is is answer regima however if you can and you have severe eye bag and you know it bothering you that much and you want to go and get the surgery I am not against it I am really not against it but as I said to answer your question I think you know people are scared just like they answered just now Frida what would you suggest for dark on the eyes cause my melasma I'm definitely scared of surgery in regard to cosmetic surgery all right so see what I'm saying I think a lot of people are just not you know open and they 
it's not like something that is really affecting your health per se. It's just like cosmetic, as she was saying. Um, so that is the reason why I think. All right, let's talk about under eyes. So someone was asking a question for dark circles, which is where we are. And why am I doing all of this today? Today's hot, guys. Yes. It is very, very hot, and I'm trying to use limited light these days, but it's very, very hot, but I need to enjoy it because this is like the second day for the year that is a bit warm. Dark on the eye circles. How many of you have tried a potato under your eyes? If you try the potato for dark on the eye circles, comment. Potato and parsley is two things I personally mix together and use under my eyes. Potato and parsley. If you're new to my channel, and you're wondering why is this woman talking so much about parsley because that's what helped me and it's the truth that is what helped my dark circles and i actually did a lot of research before i start using that parsley and it actually worked before nothing worked and that work is always always something that i would recommend because i would like people to try it first and see remember now everyone's skin is different what worked for me might not work for you but with dedication when it comes on to the parsley, I definitely think it will help since it really helped me and has still been helping. So one thing, potato and parsley mixed together. I have so many remedies under here, under that playlist that you can watch and find one that you have all the ingredients. But those two, you blend that potato juice with that parsley and we're going back to the same bag you put pour the juice in a bag a ziplock bag or a container any container you have you put those ipads which are cotton pads in it you soak them up and you put them over your eyes and you sit back you relax with it for 30 minutes that is going to help with the dark on the eye circles after you take it off you rinse it off once you rinse it off then you're going to do some leave on treatment we have a wide variety on the channel and the same kiwi oil the same cucumber seed oil are two very good oil that you can mix you can mix in petroleum jelly you can mix it in shea butter you can mix it in cocoa butter cocoa butter is another very good butter to use for dark circles when you mix it with these oil now another amazing ingredient is vitamin c so you can choose to get that vitamin c powder or you can choose to make some like we do on this channel we use like the orange zest the lemon peel we also use um what else we use lemon zest orange peel for vitamin c you can use the parsley also oh quick quick before i forget for under eyes there's a special vitamin that you can also look out for and it's vitamin k that is what i keep forgetting to talk about in the parsley the parsley leaves are rich in vitamin k and that is one of the most important vitamin to use under your eyes for anything to do with the under eyes the, you know the dark circle the puffy eyes it doesn't matter vitamin k you get vitamin k out of parsley you get vitamin k out of the um dark leaf of vegetables and nowadays i find that they do have the vitamin k in tablet form not telling you to run out here and take any form of tablet unless you consult your doctor but vitamin k is and vitamin c those two vitamins are good for your dark on the eye circles we have some remedies below look on that playlist and i share the playlist with you all today so you can click on it and choose any one of those videos that you have want to try now here is another tip that i have to tell you we have a 25 day skincare challenge and there's one day i don't know how and what day that is but if you open that playlist of the 25 day skincare challenge you're going to find a topic in that 25 days that is totally dedicated to your under eyes not only your under eyes but you know the areas around your eyes we're sharing tips on how to wash your under eyes like we did today we're sharing tips on how to make serum for your under eyes moisturizer for your under eyes we're also sharing um ingredient that you can use under your eyes it's just a wide variety of information in that one single video we spend an entire hour only sharing those kind of tips so if you have not seen the 25 day skincare challenge definitely definitely check out the day when we talk about other eyes now let's really let's run over 
to wrinkles under the eyes. Now, if you have wrinkles under your eyes and you clean your under eyes, you need the vitamin A and also mix with that vitamin C. You can also choose to get an eye cream, an eye serum, or an eye moisturizer out there, or you can try some. We have a wide variety on the channel, but one of my favorite is with rice. Yes, we make a rice cream, and that cream, we had like some um aloe vera gel in it we have a little bit of a parsley juice in it we had i'm trying to remember all the ingredients that we have in it however that particular one we have no oil in it okay however we use a lot of those fresh vegetables we get the juice we mix it up and we use it under the eyes at night it is also in the playlist below that will have to get rid of the wrinkles under the eyes we also have um serums we also have moisturizer that we make um not necessarily using rice but other ingredients that is good for your under eyes 99 percent of the remedies that i make for under eyes is what i personally use under my eyes because i like to know what is going in and after coming off of years of using store-bought products years of like using so many different creams and serums and stuff for my under eyes i find that what works for me are those that i make in my kitchen especially for my under eyes and that is why we have so many videos sharing tips so i discover something that is how i share it with you how many of you have tried the bakuchiel oil it's like taking the world by storm if you have tried anything bakuchiel comment 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 because that's another um, oil that is good for not only your under eyes, but it also have with the cold speed right here. Now, here is a quick tip before I forget. Along with using any of these remedies, and this also is for the puffy eyes people. If you have tried this before, comment, because I shared this tip before, how to massage your under eyes. And that is also in the 25 day skincare challenge if you're new to my channel. How many of you have tried the under eyes massage if you have tried the under eyes massage come on comment 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 they have a lot of beauty tools out there that you can use to massage your under eyes but if you do not have any of those beauty tools and if you want to know about beauty tools for your under eyes check out the same 25 day skincare challenge because we'll share a wide variety um in that challenge two fingers like this you're gonna take and you're gonna just dab it under your eyes like this do not apply too much pressure you're just gonna dab and anything that you're applying under your eyes let's say you're applying let's say a little bit of your kiwi oil under your eyes just a little little goes a long way i suggest that you warm it up like i'm showing here you warm it up on your finger and then you just press it under the eyes and you dab it under what you're doing is boots in circulation under your eyes. So you daba, 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 daba. Some of the beauty tools that you're using might just do a sweep right here, windshield wiper sweep. I personally like my dabbing method, and that is what you do. And you do that every day. Whether you are applying oil or anything under your eyes, massage your under eyes. Remember, we massage our face to reduce wrinkles and fine lines. We massage our face to lift, tighten, and firm, and that's the same thing that you need to do, <coughs> sorry, for your under eyes. You need to massage your under eyes. All of the tips that we're sharing today is gonna help you. However, you have to do it. You have to do it. One of the reasons why we don't get rid of stuff it's because we are not dedicated to it. And you might come on, and it's life, and I understand that it's life. Ilma, I try on the eye massage, daba, daba, daba. That's high and breakable people. And we have um, Vera, massage roller is great. Regima haven't, you gotta start. Magdalene is giving us a thumbs up. Claudia, I do the on the eye massage. It's really, really good. And sometimes I know we forget. Sometimes we forget. If you're just joining, we are trying to get this up to 250 likes. So if you have not yet given us a like, go ahead and comment and give us a like. If you're here, we're talking about how to get.
get rid of eye bags, puffy eyes, and also wrinkles under the eyes. Now we share a wide, seven is on the thumbnail, I think, but we share a wide variety of tips for you today. So when the show is over, you should know at least something to do to help with your dark under eye circles, your eye bags, and your puffy eyes. Now, it, the old remedy of cucumber, that still works. That have to cool your eyes, and it also have to get rid of tired eyes. So show some cucumber in whatever remedy you're making. It's still very, very much good to go. I totally forget what I was um, talking about earlier. Oh, if you're just joining us, what did you miss? We share how to cleanse your under eyes by using a washcloth. We also share some tips and how to get rid of eye bags by making some of our natural remedies. The remedies that we share, some of them have potatoes, some of them have cucumbers, some of them have parsley leaves. We'll talk about vitamin C and you know how to get vitamin C, fresh vitamin C or store-bought vitamin C. And what else we talk about? We talk about getting rid of the lines, the wrinkles under your eyes and some amazing oils and remedies that you can use under the eyes. We also talk about getting rid of um, dark under eye circles, which we just talked, and two main ingredients that we mentioned is the parsley and the potato. Now, before we go, here is a um, under eye routine for you, an everyday under eye routine. The first thing you have to do every day is to cleanse the area around your eyes. And this you are going to do with your wash rod at home. AM and PM, however, if you're a busy person and you don't have that extra two minutes, and yes, some people don't have that extra two minutes in the morning, but make sure to use the wash rod under your eyes at night or whenever you have the time. So some people have more time in the morning, some people have more time in the evening. So you choose. However, every morning you need to use a facial uh, under eye serum and moisturizer or either or either okay because if you wear makeup you don't want a lot of you know stuff on your skin if you don't pack it on a.m and p.m but morning time after you wash your face you pat dry the face do not forget to use your beauty products on your face in the morning so how to apply your under eye treatment personally for me i like to apply my eye treatment first first some people like to apply it after. Here is why I prefer to do it first. I prefer to do it first because I might just be tempted when I put on my moisturizer over my face to touch my under eyes. If my under eye remedy is already there, then I know it's there. So I like to do it first. So after washing your face, you take your serum and you dab it under your eyes. And you're doing this every morning. You dab it under your eye. Now, let it sit for about a couple of seconds, and then you take that little eye moisturizer and you dab it under your eyes. And I personally go above up here like this, and this is the truth. This is me. I look all around my eyes. and That's how I do it, okay? Now, in the evening, that's the daytime. Then you go ahead and you do whatever else you normally do to your face. At night, Every single night, you do the cleansing. Every single night. Now, this is for everyone. Eye bags, puffy eyes, dark on the eye circles, it doesn't matter. Spend, it's only two minutes, and this is the truth. It's only two minutes extra. You have that wash rod somewhere hanging in the bathroom, remember to use it. That is the key. If you do not remember to use it, you're not going to get that result because it need to be clean. Why do you think that some people, seven people, you give them an eye cream and the seven of them need to use it? Some people are going to get, even though you know the cream is good, some people is going to get better results than some. That have a lot to do with your skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that also have a lot to do with how dedicated you are to doing it, to taking care of your skin. And I know that a lot of you like to watch the channel, but you don't try. If you start to try to take care of yourself, what is going to happen is that you're going to start feeling better about yourself. And it's the truth. Just try one facial scrub for once. We're so lazy these days when it come on to taking care of us, especially when you get to a certain age. And you sit back and you're watching these young people 
and you're looking at them and you're like, oh my goodness, they look so nice. Da, 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 da. Not because you're a little on in age, you can look just as good, okay? You can look just as good. I want to look just as good. And that is why, for me, like when I go on YouTube, I watch a lot of the young people videos. <laughs> yes. I want to know what they're doing, right? Because it's a different era, right? And they're exposed to more things that we are exposed to. Even with my YouTube channel here, a lot of things that I learn to, like with editing and all of that kind of stuff, it's the younger people channel that I watch to learn to see how they're doing this and how they're doing that because they're coming with a host. We have experience, okay? We have a lot of experience, but they come with a host of knowledge, a lot of new things that we don't even, you know, like we're like, what? But yeah, go ahead and watch these young people and look at them and like, okay, so they're doing that, I can do that too. Now, it don't mean that you're going to go out there and you're going to go wear the little, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. But in terms of presenting yourself and looking a certain kind of way, you can learn from them. Think about it. And I was thinking about this this week. And this is the truth. I was thinking about it. When you look at some of these younger people, they're so into skincare. And it's the truth, okay? They're so into skincare. And I do understand they're into products. And some people so specialize in beauty products. I used to be like that, so I know what I'm talking about. You specialize. You want to use this particular brand. You want to, you know, yeah, that brand one is good. They're doing it. And you're here looking like you can't even go in the kitchen and make a scrub to put on your face. But if you think about it, you used to do it, right? You, there was a time in your life when you were so into yourself. There was a time in your life when you were into fashion. There was a time in your life where the shoes have to be all that. And because you're starting to age a little, you find that you're not into it so much. And I do know life happened, life take over. But guess what? Mm -mm. Stop it right now. Start taking care of yourself. Get back to that. Get back to that. And if you don't know how to get back to that, start watching some young people, right? They have a wide variety on YouTube. Watch my video first. Give me a thumbs up and then go watch some of them. Watch some of them and see what they're doing and get, get with it. And if you have younger children and they're doing certain things, go ahead. Follow. Do things, okay? Live your life. Just live. Don't sit and hold yourself up because we tend to do that a lot. Anyway, let's get back straight. But if you're new to my channel, I do that sometimes. And Rose is, my problem is not, I'm not consistent and patient enough. And that is what I'm talking about. And this is why I'm saying these things because I know. We're looking for at least 30 more thumbs up. So if you're just joining, give us a thumbs up. Show some love to the channel by giving us some thumbs up. We need to get this to 250 thumbs up. Monica, you're right. I gave my children all for me. And that is that that is what we tend to do. But we have to step back sometimes and look. And how many of you? And I see it all the time. Some people they have their children pretty young and when they're all together you cannot tell who is the mama from who is the kid because the mama is right up there looking sharp as the kid and that is how you need to be don't bash these young people and be like ah look at them because they're young follow them okay follow them not everything they do though because if you're old school you're not going to want to do everything they're doing because they're doing some crazy thing but the things that's going to enhance your life that they are doing, do the same. Do the same. Fix your hair. Wear color here like me. Gray, black, pink, yellow, green. It doesn't matter. Just get your... Once your skin look good, and this is another thing. And if you agree to disagree, but I know that this is the truth. When your skin look good, anything look good on you. Yeah, it's the truth. When your face is looking all rosy, when your face is looking glass like when your face is having that natural glow your under eyes is looking okay everything you do look good okay if you just leave your hair out just like that it look good because your skin look good if you wear pink hair your skin look good if you wear gray hair your skin look good if you don't do nothing to your hair you plot it like old school your skin look good everything look good and that is why it's important that's is why celebrity celebrities spend out not thousand 
millions of dollars on skincare because this is what people see. People see your face. Don't forget the neck of the decollete now because I sometimes see some people out there and their face is all nice and the decollete and the neck is, ooh, out of sight. So everything you use on your face, take it down on the neck and decollete and do the rest of your body. Exfoliate your skin at least once a week. Stand in that shower and exfoliate your skin. So with that, oh, my time is up already. Um, let me take some questions. Let me take some questions. If you're just joining, we're talking about Dark on the eye circles, yes, you probably said, I don't hear anything about that. Dark on the eye circles, eye bags, puffy eyes, and wrinkles under the eyes. And oh, one more thing, really, really quick. Your under eyes, your eyes can age you. And I was talking about this a couple of weeks ago. When I come on here and I'm tired, you can see it. It's just looking at you like this. Hello, 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 hello. And you look so much older. So that is why it's very, very important to take care of your other eyes. When people look deep in your, you can look in someone's eyes and you can see a lot of things, okay? They said the eyes don't fool you, and it's true because when you're sad and you're down and you're depressed, all of this area just look bad. When I'm tired, I'm still a little tired and I could see it. I could just look at my face, just this area right here, and you could see it. And that is why you got to keep taking care of this area also. Not only on the outside, because it doesn't matter how nice and fresh out here. Look at this little area here. It's out. Mm. It shows. It shows. So get yourself a good eye cream, a good eye serum. Clean the areas around your eyes. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to challenge you. Those of you who are not doing it, have not even tried a single thing under your eyes. Those of you who are still washing your under eyes with your regular soap bar that you used to bathe with, take a stop this week and stop doing that and go for the wash rod and do it for the entire week and come back Sunday, next Sunday, and tell me if you see any difference. Just do it and tell me if you see any difference whatsoever. That's all we're asking you to do. So we're going to take some comments right now, and then we're going to get off. We're going to be on this week, guys. Yes, we're doing some live show this week. They're going to be at 2 or 1. It's going to be at 1 p.m. daily for five days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. For five days, we're going to have weekdays with Chichi starting tomorrow. Weekdays with Chichi is totally different from our Sunday show. What we do on weekdays, sometimes we introduce new products. Sometimes we just, just share some things that is going on in the skincare world. Those shows are pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. So if you have the time, join us this week for weekdays with Chichi Beauty at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are on every Sunday on this platform, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We also have a daily video that we post. Every day we just share a video with you, something you could try, something you might not want to try. However, just watch the video, watch the videos. At least half of the videos we're asking you to watch. That's how the system recognizes that you like the video. If you watch two minutes of the video, you click off, the system is gonna think that you do not like the video if the video is eight minutes. So we're asking you to watch at least four minutes of the video and while you're at it, you comment, you thumbs it up, and share your opinion. Not all the videos you're going to like. You could comment, you could say it, but don't be me now. Because it takes time to make these videos. Comment and say, oh, I'm not going to try this one because I was using Just say something because that's how we get your feedback also. But definitely watch the videos and share some of them on your social media page, especially the ones that you like. So remember, guys, don't. Oh, you didn't miss much. Well, you missed, missed the preaching part of it today, Claudia. Uh, please do a video on thinning eyebrows. We actually have some videos on thinning eyebrows. Uh, Ma, Ma, Amelda, we have a few on thinning eyebrows. We use a, a castor oil mixture for that. A castor oil mixture, and you just pour, place it over like this. I'm going to give you an easy remedy. If you can get Jamaican black castor oil and a little bit of a petroleum jelly just mix the two together and at night just feather the eyebrows with it like that 
that work and that will definitely help tremendously okay all right so any question for me go ahead and comment and we have um esme have puffy eyes esme today we did about 20 minutes of the show talking about puffy eyes so what i want you to do you, we want you to rewind the show as soon as we're done and once you get to that portion which is about 10 minutes in the show we start talking about puffy eyes we share some vital information today on puffy eyes so definitely check that out what we recommend you do is some of those treatment that you place over your eyes like this and you leave it on for 30 minutes and you rinse it off and we also encourage you to massage your under eyes if you have puffy eyes watch the videos and it will teach you exactly how to do it but definitely check those out because the information is very very much vital and someone asks um for a video on lavender water okay all right i definitely i'm gonna make a note of that to make the lavender water i already have lavender here so it's easy for me to to actually make that i don't have my notepad but i hope i will remember and i'll do it for you because i personally need to make a fresh batch for myself so that's an easy fix 15 more thumbs up we're looking for if you're just joining us give us a thumbs up show some love to the channel and don't forget to share um can sofa damage your face so far are you talking about sofa as in your furniture and if that is what you're talking about yes and how can sofa damage your face it's dirty and a lot of times people tend to put their head on the sofa you know that the sofa i hope this is what you're talking about you know sofa collect a lot of dust sofa collects so much dust is not funny all right leave your house for two days and come back if sofa have a lot of, you don't know where it come from and you could be the cleanest person in the world your sofa have a lot of dust on it and sometimes we don't think you put your head on the sofa you get up you have five bumps on your face and you're like what is going on it does and that is why i recommend that you vacuum your sofa as um as often as you can or you use that brush depending on the material and you're brushing most people vacuum the sofa because yes 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 it can cause breakout it can cause fine bumps on your face and also your pillow it's the same thing with your pillowcase your pillow if you don't clean that pillowcase you could wake up and you can find that your face is breaking out and all of that and also with your hair how many of you know that if you do not wash your hair often some people the hair cause your face to break out you get pimples on your forehead and all of that stuff so yes everything goes on and on you definitely have to take care and be mindful of where you place your face and make sure you wash 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 lip lines i actually share in the 25 day skincare challenge about the lip line the lip lines i tend to do this so i use the same vitamin a oil mix up I actually have a beauty tool and I think I'm going to post a video sometimes a sponsor well let me not say this on this they might think this is sponsored this is not a sponsored video but there's a beauty tool that I have that focus on the lip line and the, the, the instruction is actually something like this believe it or not for the lip line they go right on the right here they go under the cheekbone and they go all the way up there so this is how I personally do mine. And don't look at me and talk about, oh, you don't have lip line. They are coming. They are coming. So that is what you do. Rose, I think she may be talking about sulfur. Um, I promise that I'm going to do a full detailed show on sulfur. I'm going to do a full detailed show on sulfur. Promise, I promise, I promise. We're looking for six more likes six more likes if you're just joining just give us a thumbs up and comment 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 our show is over but we're taking some questions correcta i have bad bad black eyes circle what can i use to correct it the parsley and the potato recipes below the video in the playlist you grate that potato or you blend the potato regular potato idaho potato white potato whatever you call it 
you juice that potato, blend that parsley with some rose water. You squeeze it out also, mix the two together, get some cotton pad, drop it in that water, put it in the refrigerator, take it out about an hour or two after, use it over your eyes, lay back with it for 30 minutes. Once that is done, you are gonna use a leave-on. And a leave-on could be a good serum. We have a wide variety on the channel. The reason why I just throw that one out there because you can start with that. You're gonna notice a significant difference, but you gotta use it on a regular, at least three times per week. However, here's the real truth. If you make that parsley one on potato, use it for seven days straight. Every evening, even if you can't spend that extra 30 minutes, use it for at least 15 minutes on the on the eyes and you're gonna notice a significant difference you're not gonna see any difference if you don't try and when i say try try it and use it for the week come back next sunday and tell us what you think we too i have a jade roller and a gosha and a lips um spring exercise i keep a washable blanket on the couch and here's here's the tip here is the tip the blanket on the couch so when you go on the couch, you can always put your head on that blanket, which you're gonna wash weekly. And here is a good, that's a very, very, very good tip for you. Beverly, how can I fix the wrinkle between the center of my eyes? And we get that a lot, that this is where she's talking about. And some people like this. When I normally think that when you get this, you frown a lot, like, however, you can also be a, a person that is always in the sun. Also glare. When you're in a glare, your eyes are weak, this starts to happen too. This is it. And this is the easy. And I have a video coming up using a machine showing you how to do this too. So this is it. You take your two fingers like this, you push it up, you press a little, you take it all the way over the brows of your eyes like this. And you pass. Not fast. Not too slow, but not too fast. You push it up, you drag it out and you all the way over the browser your eyes like this you repeat that at least 10 times every day try it and come back next week guarantee it's gonna work but you gotta try it every day for the for starting tonight come back next week every night you do at least 10. you want to go 20 go 20 but at least 10 and that is as simple as that if you find that you have a lot of lines here this is the exercise for you how do i know this because I am now working with a company that make these amazing machines for these kind of wrinkles. And this is exactly what the machine does. Take it up, take it out, and it go right here, and it stop. Up, out, and it stop. And that control right here. So give it a try. How can I get my bags from under eyes? And this is Marcia, I know some of you are late. You're gonna go back and watch the video. I will share a wide variety of information in this video. So if you're late, all I'm begging you all to do is just to rewind the video, go somewhere from the 15 minutes mark. If you're looking for iPads, around the 35 minutes mark, if you're looking for dark under eye circles, around the 40 minutes mark, if you are looking for wrinkles under the eyes, but it's all in the show. And not only that, we share some remedies, but here is the best part of it. You can look below in the description box and you're gonna see a playlist. We have 38 videos in that playlist. We have dark circle remedies, eye bags remedies, puffy eyes remedies. We have syrup, we have eye cream, we have leave on, we have things rich in vitamin K. We have it all in those videos. So check those out. You don't wanna miss and you're definitely gonna find one that is gonna be good for you. Try one, try two, try a few of them. Whatever you're trying, try it for at least a week. Can I use the potato parsley recipe down south? Of course. You <laughs> okay, so the potato parsley recipe down south is gonna clear pigmentation. It's gonna clear pigmentation. What I would suggest you do, if it's down south to the left or down south to the right, you add a little bit of a granules to it. You can add a little bit of a rice blend to a powder. You can add a little bit of a brown sugar and uh, I would a little bit of a baking soda. Keep it outside the south and you just exfoliate those areas. Exfoliate, exfoliate, and yes, yes, yes. 
all right guys so that is my time today we are looking for um three more likes that's all we're asking for if you learned something today you know give us a thumbs up and share the video when um when the show is over and if you're just joining just rewind and you're going to notice that we talk so much and give a wide variety of recipes a wide variety of information and best of all we also share some vital tips and how to clean the areas the very first part of the show we show you how to clean your under eyes so that your beauty products your eye cream your eye serum works better on the skin we're looking for one more likes and then we're out of here thank you so much claudia for always ensuring that we um coming in late large pores let me answer this last question for large pores here is what you do you steam that face and use a regular steamer if you don't have um a steamer like this one use the pot with the hot water steam your face at least twice per week and exfoliate use a good exfoliator use brown sugar use rice use any of those exfoliator that we have on the channel or you buy yourself a scrub and you exfoliate that face at least two to three times per week be gentle on it and that is going to help to get rid of those large pores because it's going to keep the face clean and when the pores are clean that's when they start to close back in we have some amazing tips and how to get rid of large pores also if you check out our 25 day skincare challenge there's a full topic on cleansing the skin another good um tip for large pores is to use a clay mask on your face you might think a clay mask is going to clog it no the clay mask is going to take out impurity out of the skin because it's rich in all those minerals so a good clay mask can help to cleanse cleanse the skin and that is also going to cut back and the grease and dirt that is normally clogged in the pores and that is what's going to help to shrink the pores thank you so much for watching Thank you all. Give us a thumbs up. We're asking for five more thumbs up. Um, thank all. Now let's welcome Rose as a new member. If you want to become a member to our show, go on my face below the video. That is going to take you to my channel page. Once you get on my channel page, you're going to see a join button. If you click on the join button, that is also going to take you step by step, showing you how to become a member. Now, membership is a reoccurring fee that starts at US $2.99. Okay, it starts at $2.99. So if you join at $2.99 every month, you contribute the $2.99. What benefits are there to members? Benef members really get a chance to say something. Members get a chance to be highlighted in the comment. They're always in green. If they don't like something, they could contact us and be like, mm -mm -mm -mm. If they have a suggestion for the show, they could say, they could come on, like Claudia, come on, making sure that we get all the thumbs up, that because she's a member, she's entitled to do that. The members can also answer comment. If you're asking something, I don't see the comment. The members could answer the comment, so on and so forth. So if you want to become a member, we also um, promise to meet together as members. We, everyone have a different time zone. We're finding it difficult to do that. However, we now starting a WhatsApp group for all the members. Therefore, I'm gonna not only post things on community for members, but I'm gonna post things in that group. You don't have to be on WhatsApp to be a member. It's just another way to get us all together. So that is how you become a member of the channel. So let's welcome Rose to membership. Now that is my time today, guys. Um, you should be able to give more than one thumbs up. I understand that means you like the show. So guess what you do? When you can give more than one thumbs up, another thing you can do for the channel is to share the video. Share the video, like on your social media page or just the link to the video or just talk about our channel. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to be on this week at 1 p.m. daytime, 45 minutes or so every day for um, weekdays with Chichi. It's not a show that's going to run like the 20 five days in just for this week so check us out and watch our daily video if you missed the one we post this morning go ahead watch it use it it's with basil and rice i used that last night i used it this morning i know i know i know i just have it and i like it and so i use it again be good to yourself thank you all for watching have a great week try something for yourself today try a facial mask a serum take care of your under eyes start by using a wash rod even if you are not dedicated at least two to three times a week, guys, try to spend that extra 
minute or extra two minutes and clean your under eyes. Love you all and be good to yourself.